And I can I have one tonight? And I thought it's good and God is good all the time. My name is Amy J. Space Brown. Let me give you a little short news, short skills and short news on today. Um, I, I, I this morning I had talk about voting, pre um voting on today. In the on the voting poll had closed at eight o'clock. But you can go tomorrow in New Orleans. You can go tomorrow from seven a.m. to eight p.m. that night. You know, so we also have, we also have in New Orleans, we have Sean Wilson, you know, for um for Louisiana campaign candidate for um a governor, you know, so he is running for governor, and you know of Louisiana, you know, now he has a vision, you know, to music and a course of candidate that Louisiana need, you know, so we would keep them up. We will keep it going and vote if you haven't voted yet. You know, you do have tomorrow. You do have tomorrow. You can go out and vote, you know. And remember, the polls close at 8 o'clock that night. So, Louisa, Anna, and myself, you know, we have, you know, we have tomorrow for pre-voting. You know, so let's vote for Sean. Let's vote for Sean Wilson. You can pull him up and see um, what all he do or what he plans to do, you know, for governor. His number is 16. You know, so we will let our voice, you know, be heard by going to the polls tomorrow and vote. Now, remember, you know, it goes to your own, go by your district, you know, or your address location. I, I Broke everything down for y'all this morning. You know, so we gonna vote for Sean Wilson. He running for governor of Louisiana. You know, so so we also gonna talk about it brought to my attention, um, fight against age discrimination. You know, now it don't go for the men. The men the men can be the same age of a woman at a point. But a man's job will still be secure, you know. But a woman, you know, you have age discrimination. Now, women in leadership and managers, you know, they're faced with age discrimination. You know, it's a challenge to claim that a woman is not valued or not fit for leadership role because of her age. You know, so we should be based on our qualification, you know, not our age. You know, so the Age Discrimination and Employment Act of 1967 was created. You know, so to promote employment of older persons based on their ability rather than their age. You know, to prohibit, you know, age discrimination and employment. You know, to help employers, you know, workers to find their way, you know, of meeting prob problems arising from the impact of age on employment. You know, so 40 years, you know, of age and older, you know, is protected by 1967 Age Discrimination and Employment Act. You know, so, you know, so a lot of time, a lot of time, you know, when a person get a certain age, they feel like they should be out of seat. You know, but if they're still doing a good job, they're able to still come to work, they they still functioning and doing a good job. You you know, um uh, sometimes you might have a younger person, you know, and that person in that age is still equipped to to um be functioning and do a better job sometimes than a younger person. You know, so age discrimination involved is treating African or employee employee less favorable because of their age. In certain in certain um, places, you know, you get a certain age, you know, they just ready to toss you on the side. You know, but if they goes into the Bible, you know, like Moses and, and Joshua, they was on their journey, you know, and they depart when they was like uh, over a hundred years old. You know, God didn't discriminate them when they got old. I remember when I put out with, with Joshua Joshua got a certain age heat. When he got tired, God was like ready to still give him more work to do. You know, it's when you feel like your body cannot go no more. 
then it's time for you to stop. But you energized and you just your mind is still functioning in small and you able to still be able to um be so equipped on um, doing your work, you you know, your work performance. I mean, why why quit? You know, why pull down? You know, if you're not um incapable and able, you know, to do your duties, you know, uh then it, you know, it's a problem you have to start working. But if you still get up every morning, you still function, you still not to do that job um, since 10, 10, 15 years ago, you know, and if you feel like you still want to work, why pull down? You know, I feel like you only should pull down if your body can't go no more. You know, so the Age Discrimination and Employment Act, you know, um, forbid age discrimination against people who are aged 40 years or older. No matter how old someone is, if they have qualification, you know, and can't still do the job, you know, and still get up every morning, you know, they should be able to continue on working. 40 years or older, you know, it's protected under the Age Discrimination and Employment Act. You know, it did can still wake up in the morning, you know, and still proceed that dudes like it did 15 years ago. You know, it, it shouldn't matter of the age. If they can still proceed their qualification, you know, or what they're doing and what they've been doing for 15, 20 years, let them do it until their body cannot go no more. You know, so that's um age discrimination discrimination you know so i do have the update on israel attack you know so latest update israel um has said no northern guidance you know offensive is coming soon you know so israel military one is that it was tag guidance you know city well city attack the city real soon and see israel don't have no they don't have no problem fighting back you know, so now this conflict has been going on for a long time, and this war is very serious. You know, it's, all these wars that are going on is very serious, serious because it can also come into our territory. So we have to really find some kind of ways to control these wars that are going on. So Haman is carrying out his first surprise attack against Israel. You know, uh, that was um, Saturday. You know, uh, so also, there had been no peace talk, you know, for several years. You know, so there will be no hate. You know, this conflict will come to an end, you know, and this is a very serious matter. You know, so there is so much destruction, you know, have been going on. Killing have been going on. Soldiers are being um, as hostages, you know, of Israel, you know, so we have to have a peace meeting, a peace talk, you know, so this conflict can come to an end. No more hate. No more hate. You know, this conflict, you know, we have to have a peace talk for this conflict. Whatever your conflict is, it have to come to an end. You know, we will always stand for Israel. You know, oh, um, so um, so we had talked about we talk about the voting election. We have pre-voting today. We had it today, and we will also have it tomorrow. Tomorrow, this is for um New Orleans. You know, so you can go out and vote um tomorrow between seven a.m. to eight o'clock p.m. tomorrow. You know, just pre-voting. You know, whoever don't have the information update, this is the time to get everything updated. And we also um came across my attention, Sean Wilson. You know, but um he running for um government for Louisiana. You know, um you you also like I told y'all this morning, whoever you think you want to vote for, pull them up and read on. See what they're gonna do. You, you know, and um what what I read on. Um, you know, it seemed like he will he will be just um what Louisa Allen need because he's more involved in everything that's going on, you know, and he said he have a vision. You know, he have a vision, you know, of what New Orleans, what Louisa Allen need. You know, so we have to keep we have to keep going and vote. 
you know, uh, vote for people that be, be they're gonna be um be in action of what they say. Cause sometimes people say what they're gonna do to get in that seat, and then we don't see it proceed. You know, so uh, he been proceed. You know, and doing helping community and helping, you know, doing things, you, you know. So, um, and we see um, Mr. President, Mr. Um, being a president when he was he was um going out for um election, for you know running for um president. He said what he was gonna do, and he doing just what he said. You know, he working and doing everything he. Be up early doing everything he said he was going to do, he done it. And when we see, if you pull him up, Sean Wilson, you know, he been doing, he been very active, you know, doing, you know, trying to be a voice for everyone, you know, that need anything happen, you know. So his name is Sean Wilson. He running for governor of Louisiana, you know. So let's vote for him. You know, and make sure you remember to make sure your address is correct because you will have to still vote in that district. You know, you have to update your um address if anything had changed. You know, so we also had talked about uh fighting against age discrimination. You know, they feel like when a woman get a certain age, you know, they feel like she has to pull down. You know, if that woman is still able to get up every morning, go to go to work, and and still proceed her duties just just like she did fifteen years ago, you know, oh, let the woman work until her body cannot go no more. You know, so don't discriminate her age. You know, when she got the qualification to still do the job. You know, so that's on age discrimination. And we also talk about um, the update on this war is still going on, and it's very serious. You know, this war is what I read on, it's been going on since uh, years and years ago. You know, it's been going on for a long time. You know, so this is very serious. You know, um, we, we gonna, um, it will not be, you know, no hate. You know, this is a conflict that's been going on for a while and it have to come to an end. You know, this is a serious matter. All these walls are just, just breaking out. You, you know, conflicts, you know, with, with this one and with that one. You know, uh, he did a surprise attack, you know, on Israel on Saturday, you know, and took some of their soldiers and just been devastating a whole lot of um, um, cities. You know, so we have to have a peace talk, you know, for this war to come to an end. You know, we have to have a peace talk for this war to come to an end. You know, so we will always stand with Israel. So that's all the show news I have for y'all today. Y'all have a, a blessed and safe night, and i see y'all on the next video.